Today I put a distributor in this 99 Chevy Tahoe. I believe these are 96 to 99 on the Tahoes. Up to 98 on the pickups. 350 Vortec. I'm going to show you how to set the timing with a scan tool. I'm using a Solus Ultra snap-on scan tool. I already knew this was bound to fail in these plastic distributors that GM makes. That little tab broke off there a while back. It's been hanging on by a thread all this time. But I, I set the timing on it once and I couldn't get it dead on zero and I knew there was an issue there. These distributors are notorious for the gears to wear out on them. Now this one isn't so bad it was about to fail. It was bad enough to where I couldn't get it timed correctly. And you can see the silver color and the dark color. That's the teeth wearing out on this distributor. And these bodies are all plastic. They're just fucking junk for real. The new one I installed is all aluminum body on it. Can't see it in there. but It's all aluminum body. So I think it, it might last longer. Either way, it's new. The, the gear's new, so that's the big thing. First thing to do is get all your information in for your vehicle. As you can see, this is a 99 Chevy Tahoe four-wheel drive, 5.7. And I'm gonna go ahead and click no air pump. We'll go into engine. Uh, data display I believe yep and the EVAP EGR data this is what we're looking for to set the timing on this these distributors don't move much but okay uh, scroll to the bottom you'll see CMP retard right there it's showing zero right now what we're looking for in a perfect world, it's for that to say zero while this vehicle is running. Anything uh, negative two up to plus two is good too. That's fine, that's all in spec. Just start the vehicle, and as you set this, the idle speed has to be above a thousand RPM. So I've got my distributor bolt already loose. And I'm going to get under the hood and raise the auto with one hand and I'm going to turn the distributor with the other hand. I'm going to set my scan tool over here where I can see it. And as you can see right now, CMP retard is at negative 8 idle. If I raise it, Thousand RPM or above. I'll turn the distributor a little bit and raise it again. Well, that was a lucky guess. Dead on zero. CMP retard zero. And from there, you just shut your vehicle off, tighten your distributor down to where it doesn't move, unhook your scan tool, and you're finished. Thanks for watching Grease Monkey TV. Don't forget your go-go juice.